So in this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of NO2 plus. This is called nitronium ion. So what we're going to do first is list out the number of atoms we have, and we're going to calculate the total, the total number of electrons we have to place. So from the periodic table, we know that nitrogen gives us five valence electrons, and oxygen gives us six valence electrons. So the total number of uh, electrons that we have to place would be two times six because we have two oxygen atoms. So that would be 12 electrons plus five. <coughs> so that would be 12 from the oxygen uh, plus five from the nitrogen. And that gives us approximately 17. But remember that because we have a plus charge, that simply just means that we're going to minus one electron. and so. The total number of electrons we have to place is 16 valence electrons. All right, so as usual, with most molecular formulas, the central atom will be the atom furthest to the left. In this case, um, it works out. Remember, most of the times, for example, water, its molecular formula is H2O, and certainly hydrogen does not go um, in the middle. But for most of the time, the atom that's furthest to the left in the molecular form will be your central atom. And right, so at this point, we could place um, two oxygen atoms around it and I usually like start bonding between my atoms just using single bonds so at this point I can form a single bond between the nitrogens and the oxygen at this point I've only used uh, four valence electrons because remember one single bond is worth uh, two valence electrons so we have currently four valence electrons around uh, the nitrogen now nitrogen is one of those um, atoms just like oxygen that the octet typically must be satisfied and so if we play a little game here, I could possibly form a double bond and that way nitrogen's octet is satisfied. Now you may be wondering to yourself, why didn't you put like lone pairs around the nitrogen? Well, you certainly can, um, but you'll end it up, you'll, you'll see in the end that it is possibly not the best way uh, to, to go about it because um, the lower structure will be incorrect, right? So at this point, we have two, four, six, eight electrons around the nitrogen. So we know nitrogen's octet is satisfied. How about the oxygens? On the left oxygen, I have two, four, only four valence electrons around the oxygen coming from the two double bonds. I'm sorry, coming from the double bond. And so because we can't place any more electrons on the, on the nitrogen, we can only place them on the oxygen. So if I put two pairs of lone pairs on the oxygen, now I have two, four, six, eight valence electrons on the left oxygen. And I could possibly do the same on the right oxygen. So let's count how many total electrons we've used thus far. Let me just make these symmetricals. All right, so thus far we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 valence electrons. And this is exactly what we counted is exactly what we have. Now remember that this, um, this molecule is an ion and so we typically must put our ions in brackets that's just the correct way of drawing our lower structure now the plus charge actually is from the nitrogen right the plus charge is actually from the nitrogen and we just put our plus so this is actually a lower structure the plus charge is from the nitrogen and a simple way of calculating formal charge is we know that from the periodic table nitrogen nitrogen has five valence electron and if we subtract the total number of electrons around the nitrogen which is four in this case, you'll see that it is actually a uh, plus one. So this is actually the a shortcut way of doing this. So when I say the number of electrons total around nitrogen and I say four, you may be wondering, oh, that doesn't make any sense because we said there's eight. What I mean uh, in using a shortcut Lewis uh, structure formula is that uh, when you look at just the number of electrons that's, that's, that's from the nitrogen, not included in the bond. So if I draw a circle, around the nitrogen and just look at just the electrons from the nitrogen and you'll see that I have one, I have two, I have three, I have four. And that's just a short way of calculating the formal charge. Mm -hmm. So this is why um, in this case, uh, we have a plus one charge of nitrogen. This is a plausible structure for the molecule.